Ora viva pessoal, my name is André and welcome to what could be a series here on the channel, it's Death Stranding. Now, <clears throat> I actually played one hour, 58 minutes, one hour of this game until I realized that I was actually recording my ugly face but I was not recording my gameplay. So, 58 minutes to the trash. But, uh, the game is interesting and 90% of what you're going to see is basically cutscenes, okay? <laughs> uh, so, um, it's I think it's the introduction to this world. So, I have already set up things, you know, the DSS, DLSS from NVIDIA and all that stuff. So, we should be good. The game is not recording. Yeah, game and my ugly face. So, instead of doing the continue, I'm going to do a new game. Yes. And uh, sit back. Enjoy. Take a coffee, like me. And uh, let's just watch the game. Now, hopefully the game will load faster. Yeah, see that? It took... <clears throat> the first time it took, like, two minutes to go from 25 to 100. Yeah. Now, of course, I've seen everything. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is good. Oh, caraças, para baixo. So... Uh, I'm not going to pretend that I'm not that I haven't seen anything. I've seen all of it. I done I have done the prologue, which is the first part of the game. So uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, this is the the Kojima Productions uh, thing. I actually thought that this was the game, and I went, "Wow, this is amazing!" But no, it's the Kojima logo thingy. Oh, hot! Boom. Kojima. So Kojima is going to show up like 50 times throughout this <laughs> first part. The rope along with the stick are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to keep the bad away, the rope used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends, our first invention. Wherever they were, wherever there were people, they were... Ah, and I couldn't read the first Once time and I couldn't read the second explosion. time. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And it was a big bang. And then came the next explosion. So, the first part of this game, the prologue, is very, as I've said, uh, cinematic focused okay now I'm not sure if the, that will be throughout the entire game I don't think it will but uh, oh see that Hideo, Koji, Hideo Kojima you'll see a lot of them <laughs> uh, death stranding so this game is very I think it's going to be a focused a story focused game it has a very cinematic thing to it <clears throat> and uh, so this is our character, Norman Reed. Norman Reedus, I think it's ice. And Mads Mikkelsen, I saw it at the end of the, the prologue, so I now know who he is. So, as I was saying, uh, this prologue is to set us on the right environment for this uh, entire game. Uh, it's going to be like 90% cutscenes and 10% me playing. Now, on the 58 minutes that I did on the first time, uh, Troy Baker, this guy is from The Last of Us, isn't it? I don't know. So, um, on the first time that I played the game, right, um, I wasted a bit of time trying to read a few things to understand the mechanics. Now I don't, so I'm just going to kind of skip through it. That's it. Okay. Jesse Corti. You know. Eto. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, this is an interesting part. Now, as as things happen, I'm going to try to pinpoint a few things that I realized. Okay, realize one thing. We have rain. Okay. Oh, there's the rainbow. See that? The drop touched his hair. His hair changed color. Hmm. 
There we go. Well, this is gonna split the wheels on front. For whatever reason. And these are our friends, basically. Oops. Yeah, that's that's not good. Oh, this is an, this is interesting. See, one goes and the other one almost, and uh, you can see it struggling for its life, and then boom. Goodbye. Oh, this is impressive. Look at this. All the birds are falling. <laughs> Watch this. This is rain, okay? Hey, my <clears throat> Boomba. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. No, 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 no. Yep. Okay, so this is the first first time that we're going to actually play. So I'm going to pick up this rabbit. Now I do know how to do things now. So there we go, and I gotta go there. Nice. So the other wreck can send for cargo. Nah, every piece of cargo has a tag attached. Yes, I know that. Ah, but I, I actually yes, I gotta go. Oh, hey, <laughs> he actually. Uh, loses balance, which is amazing. So I need to press this and this so that he, he can balance himself, which is amazing. So I gotta go here. Get up, easy, easy, easy. Opa. Slowly, slowly. Nice, okay. Climb, climb continuously. Nice. And you are now going to go down. Yeah. Way out the rain over there. And this is now cinematic. Just enjoy. Sit back and enjoy. At least this first part is super cinematic. Sam, Norman, read us. He has hands marked on his body. That's weird. Look at his skin. So, by the way, I'm running this on a laptop 3070 RTX. He's sensing the creatures. Nice, isn't it? Now, I'm not sure if this is preloaded or loaded in real time. Look at this. The creatures don't affect certain things because they can stand on ground but the picture was not touched you saw that weird hey the shut up and now he's just <laughs> <laughs>
Look at her name. Fragile. Amazing. Opa. Leave that thing. Come on. I'm guessing this is preloaded. Or pre-processed or something. It's just a video, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> oh, my control is rumbling. With each step, the controller rumbles. Now, the prologue doesn't tell us a lot of things. For instance, I don't know who these guys are. Now, one thing, look at this detail. She's going to start crying. This is one of the most impressive things that I've seen in this in this cinematic. It's just, they cry, but without that expression of crying, you know, just tears fall down from their uh, face. Look at five th five guys. One, two, three, four, and the fifth is just hidden. And there they go. See, he's crying as well. But they don't. Their expression doesn't uh, tell that. Just tears roll down, rolling down from the prologue. Porter. Okay. So this is the beginning of the prologue. I think they're gone. Just get Sorry. <laughs> He's fragile, not her. A chiral allergy. Oh, it's an allergy. Like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. So, too, then. tears is an allergy. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Lea yeah, Sidu. I've heard of you. <laughs> right. I like Lea Sidu, you know why? I don't know if you can notice. Um, I like her jacket. Why are why oh oh yeah This is a bit disgusting but okay You want it? Yeah. No thank you. Bon appetit. Why the day keeps the time fall away. Okay. It has to taste really good. <laughs> okay. Want to come work for me? It must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. And I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Okay.
<laughs> I like her umbrella. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. See, her jacket is amazing, isn't it? Full fast forwards, whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. You realize that? Just won't let go. So, whenever that I'll rain, the, the water, so whatever. Rigid. So, whatever the rain touches, organically, of course, whatever the rain touches, it fast forwards time. That's why those birds were dying. That's why his hair got white when it got a uh, drop of water. And that's why the photo got, you know, um, white, so to speak. Prologue Porter. Deliver one or more consignments of smart drugs. Okay. So, easy. Uh, I'm going to go there. Do I have... So by doing this that I just did, uh, ah, there's a bug there. I don't know what that bug is, but I can eat it. Hideo Kojima, see that? Eat. Cryptobite, cryobite, consumed blood levels restored. Okay, they were not, okay. So, one of the things, or one of the key things to this game is balance. So, he's a delivery guy, and he has his cargo on his back. And one of the things that's going to happen is every, every now and then he just whoa, 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 loses his balance. And you need to press either right and left uh, triggers to balance right or left. So, in this case, he's going to start going down faster than what he should. And what, what's going to make that happen is he's going to start losing balance. So I'll, I'll have to... Oh, see that? I'll have to trigger both uh, so that he's, his balance uh, gets centered, which is which is an amazing thing. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Don't fall. Now, we have a thing there. So whenever he goes to water... He also needs to balance himself, see? Otherwise he'll just wash away or loses his ba lose his balance. And that's not good. Okay, there he goes. Now, I actually fell and I damaged my cargo when I did this the last time. So we have a thing there, see? Central Knot City. Now, one of the things that I'm going to try to do is now that I know what I have to do, I'm just going to try to do it and see what time difference I'm going to get. So, I reached the end of this prologue uh, at about 55 minutes, around 50 minutes. Now, I'm looking at 20 minutes at the moment. Of course, when I started the game in the, in the, other, uh, in the video that I lost, I actually um, started talking a, a, a bit about the game and all that stuff that I didn't know the game, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to do all that all over again because I didn't even know what I said. <laughs> so I have, I may have spent a few minutes um, just talking, talking about um, things. But I still have... Carry on back. So... I'm still going to make a comparison between the other video that I did and this one. Now the music is super loud, but it is what it is. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I need to go here. Okay. Easy. There it goes. Okay, luckily he will not fall Okay, there's another smart thingy there Opa 
Where do I gotta go? Here, right? Yeah. There we go. Now, I might actually edit this video. Oh, 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 oh. I might add, actually edit this video. Uh, so you, you will most likely see, um, an even lower, even lower, uh, time count. So. Easy boy. So I gotta go there. Now this has a, a bit of a current. So let's just go like that. Okay, last time I did not die. Let's hope that I can keep it like that. Opa. Oh, Kim. Ah, oh, serio. Okay, that's new. I just damaged the uh, the cargo. See, in the last gameplay that I did, this didn't happen. I damaged the cargo. I don't know how much I damaged it, but I damaged it. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's see. When swept away by water, you learn to pedal and get yourself to land as quickly as possible. So, it is a problem. Okay, there's another package there. Let's go there. Grab the package. And go to where I need to go. Which is that thing over there. Oh, 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 okay, I am being careless at the moment. And just because I want to make this as fast as possible. Oh, this is interesting. Now, he has 70 approaching cargo weight limit. So, he is uh, getting uh, above his uh, kind of limit. So, I need to... As he goes, uh, uh, what, does, what does it say? As he sways to the left or right, I need to counteract that with the arm. Beginning scan. Cargo verified. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Easy. Let's see if I don't fall. That would not be good. <laughs> so that's why I see people saying that this is a. Uh, um, this is a walking simulator because basically what you need to do is just, you know, counteract the cargo. And I've actually seen videos of people who had actually have like an absurd amount of cargo on top of them. Either that or was a montage or something. I don't remember, to be honest. Easy. <laughs> I'm getting w way too overconfident. I'm gonna do something that I shouldn't. Okay. Activate. Nice! Make delivery, guys. Confirm. Okay. I don't know how many I did, but uh, I'm gonna check it out. And it's been 25 minutes. I think it took me much more than 25 minutes the last time. Hola. It took you so long. It's not like the legend to come in late. I had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Yep. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. I don't know if they are actually perfect, perfect, but... Uh, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so... Great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. Okay. Zero, zero. Oh! I did not get any damage. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I actually thought that I got uh, damage. I went, went 1.4 kilometers. And this time I only got 1.1. So, awesome. Nice, one, 188, 188. Beautiful. Okay. Zero, zero. Nice, beautiful. I don't remember which one was my uh, amount the last time. Okay. 
disk based media 42 good and another port grade okay one two, I, I got three on this okay and two on this I believe okay nice beautiful 1.2 kilometers okay and now it's cutscene time. <laughs> He's like, oh, come on, I just want to go home. <laughs> Hideo Kojima, see that? That's like the seventh. <laughs> Kyle Cooper. Oh, yeah, Hideo, Hideo Kojima, see that? Again. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Yeah, he's not even looking at him. No touchy feely type. Like you said, you had some kind of phobia. Bridges Corpse Disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Ludwig Forsell. So this is when things... Now, things are weird, right? So far. They're gonna get weirder. Look at this. Come and take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? I don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with BTs. Sure you can't use another? BTs. I don't know what, could, the, what no BT stands for. And yeah, just burn the poor bastard right here. And put all that Kyrillium in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Dooms. I also don't know what dooms means. Either. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. See that? So this place it? is a crater, so. Yep. Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Yeah, he who doesn't shake hands. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Yeah, this is not weird at all. I think this is one of the most weird features of this game. The usage of babies. And he's crying as well, see that? The other side. Freaks me out too. Get out. Roll out. You saw the baby just went, Good morning, I'm gonna get you, bastard. Why does it lift up? I don't know. Hold oh, Hideo Kojima. See that? Yeah, remember those days. You could even visit other countries. Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. 
fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the timefall came and washed you away. Yeah, timefall is. Could it be like uh, industry? Could it be like a special thing? Well, it is. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. So all rain is a problem. Rainbow. Oh, there goes the rainbow. How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're to cut to the BTs. Okay. There we go. So the rainbow is a problem. Where's the rainbow now? Let's see if we can spot something. Get us out of here. Nothing, nothing. I wonder if that thing can actually point to where the issue is. I think it can. So if it spots them, it'll point to them. Oh, look at the body. See that? There we go. He's at zero kilometers per hour. I don't know if you realize that. Ow. Okay. Look at this. The water touches the organic stuff, you know, uh, plants, and they all just grow and die. Next. Right. His leg is red. I don't know why. Okay, the body's there. And that guy's there. Why does they have their names on their suits? Fragile had fragile through the suit, and he's Porter. He has Porter through his suit. Look at this guy. He's getting a golden thing on his face. I've seen this, but I can't still. I, I still can't understand it because I went up to a point where it doesn't unfold that area yet. <clears throat> Now here's the here's the thing. It's raining. It was already raining, but this guy's face only started aging now. Not when it was already raining. So it might be rain with creatures and not just rain. Yeah, that's not good. Especially when you have a car on top of you. Okay, that thing is stopping. See that? Okay.
Oh yeah, right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but give me a second. Sorry. See, there's... Could it be his blood? I don't know. And goodbye. Bye. Now, he shot, he should, he shot him. He just stopped moving right there and then. That guy can fly. Where are you shooting? He didn't get to shoot. He shot, but not himself. Ooh, look at the size of this guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, now he's gonna eat something or somebody, right? And everything exploded. And this is the crater, if I'm not mistaken. And this is an interesting part as well. I apologize for, you know, speaking while I'm seeing this, but I've seen this before, so I'm kind of, you know, pointing things, putting things together. Look at his hands. He has hands on his old body. Marked. Which is weird. Everything is weird in this game. that now why can't we see the feet or are those the feet as well I don't know look at all these dead animals Oh, the five figures on top. See that? Impressive.
Death Stranding. And I believe that this is now the end of Prologue. Now, I'm not seeing any icon being displayed. Oh, look at this. Not weird. Just in the, in the middle of all of this death, you see a lady in red just singing along. In the you see the, the, the her shoes. Impressive. Now, this guy has one characteristic that uh, separates him from the rest. He can. I'm gonna. I'm, you're, you're gonna see. Oh, it's being. It's deleting the 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 things. Or at least I saw something being erased or something. Like that. Loads of bodies. Oh, I died, I died. Don't know what that thing is. So, I am the soul at the moment. You're gonna see that. See that? Uh, see, I am the soul. Re repatriation. Sam is a repatriate, meaning that he can return to life from the place known as the seam when killed. In the seam, follow the strand to guide Sam's soul to his body to bring him back. So basically, I just need to go and go there. So that makes him special. Like, see, this is like the one of the uh, trademarks for this game. Creed. <laughs> BB. Daddy. He doesn't get dirty. When you throw up, you don't. You're, you're not clean. Just you know, yeah. You have things in your mouth. Okay, I don't know. There he goes crying. Right? Yeah. There he goes. See the crater. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at the. There's a foot mark there. And then came the next explosion. An explosion. That will be our last. Yep. Okay, so. Guys, I am going to leave the game here. It's been 44 minutes. Not too shy away from. Uh, not. Not too away. Not too, you don't say that. Not much further from the last uh, thing that I did. But I am. This is now the next stage of the game. So uh, I'm going to pause it because this is the the. So the first one was a prologue, and this one is something else. And there he is crying. I'm kind of afraid that if I cut the game here, I will miss this. Episode 1, Bridget. So. Okay, I'm just going to go along with this. And I'll start the next uh, oh, video with that. Awake. So, how does it feel to be back in the world of the living? Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Well, a coroner. Originally, call me 
dead man. I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course. Guillermo del Toro. To the name, I've never actually died. I would advise against that. I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Hmm. Bridges. Oh, us. Us. Yep, bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin, like this. Oh, relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look, look. The cuffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. <laughs> we will. To help. What the hell? Two days. During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD, guys? Oops. Central Knot was obliterated in the annihilation. Game over, man. Place is a crater. The only ones to get it continue were you, for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. So they're just you know, keep disposing of babies. We lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team. HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central North City. We're at our base in Capital North City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do. Okay, I've base. seen this far, then I stop the game. So from now on, new to me. Fortunately, the director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. I hate he to has markings. So soon, but I have a job for you. Hmm. I know you just died and stuff, but uh, uh, this let me put you to good work. Is from when you repatriated? Ah. Uh, what's the other mark from? A clinging woman in a cave. Oh. Mm, I hmm. see. Affenphosphophobia. Crazy. Affenphosphophobia. No They're alone, where no one could touch you. I'll try to be more careful, Sam. So, the job is an urgent delivery. I need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 no. Not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president Just not in America. is in the final stages of cancer. In critical condition. But there's still time. Why me? Look, Sam. Do as I ask. And Shut I up and do it. All makes sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. Oi. Hola. Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. I'm actually over in the isolation ward in the big triangle building. Ah, here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on, you got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. 
Mm. The truth, Sam, is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? Yes. So he has a phobia, which means that he cannot be touched. Okay, good to know. We're done. Hey, yeah, go. Nice. So. <clears throat> You do not have the number of items required for the morphine delivery session. Welcome, okay. Sam Porter Bridges. So, guys, I am going to leave the game here. Uh, so, it was unfortunate that I had to do this two times, but it is what it is. Uh, the first time, everything was new to me, so I was really baffled by the game, you know. But in the second time, it was just, you know, a re and it, <laughs> I did that, like, twice in a row, so... The first time was new, and then I waited like 10 minutes, and I did it again. So things were really fresh on my head. But it is what it is. So, uh, lesson learned. Watch your recording uh, things when you start recording a game, so that you know that you are recording everything that you should. And that's it, guys. Uh, I'm not sure if I will continue playing this game. I will do at least one more video on it, uh, and, let's see, and let's see how things go from there on. Guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this little gameplay. And as always... I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.